We are going to make this Freddy plushie. Now I know this is pretty much the same as the Golden Freddy plushie except for the eyes and the colors. But since I've made this a couple weeks ago, I thought might as well just show you guys this video. Here are the materials. Some wires, what you can use a hip pin if you want to make this into a keychain or a necklace. Two different brown colors of clay. Blue, black, and white clay. Flat blade and exacto knife. Ball, dotting, and a pointy tool. Also, you need a rolling pin to roll out the clay. We will start with a ball of the brown clay and cut it below the center line. So you are not cutting it exactly in half, but just a little bit more than half. Roll another ball of brown clay into a log and cut one side straight. If the log part is too thick, cut it to the appropriate size. When indenting the eye sockets, make them bigger and closer to each other, it will make this Freddy look really cute. Also make the iris and pupil wider because I found the wider they are, the cuter they appear. The size of the body is about the same size as the head if you need the comparison. Roll the body into a bit of a thick tear drop. Flat the bottom of the thick side of the body. Then roll out a thin piece of the light brown clay for the tummy. Make two heart shapes for the bow tie. Insert a wire into the top of the body for connecting the head. If you are making this into a necklace or a keychain, I would recommend you to use a 2 inches long head pin for better attachments like the Golden Freddy plushie one. Make tear drop shapes for the limbs. Slice the narrow end of each at an angle for easy attachment to the body.
In search of wire and where the legs are going to be attached to to prevent them from breaking off. Attach the head onto the body now and slice the top tip of the head flat so the head can sit nicely on it. After the ears are attached, this thread is ready to be baked. Follow the baking instructions on the package when you are baking it. So this is baked and I have glazed just a few spots of this thread to give it a bit of shininess. I used water-based polyurethane gloss and I used a brush to apply the gloss. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, although the process is pretty much the same as the Golden Freddy one. Stay tuned for more Five Nights at Freddy's plushies in the future. If you like how to make other Five Nights at Freddy's characters or animatronics, click on the right for more videos. There is a whole playlist just on them. You can find more of my work on Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy. If you'd like to see more tutorials from me, just hit subscribe to get weekly videos. I really enjoy what I do and hopefully you guys do too. If you have ideas or requests for future videos, leave them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!